great weather, friends, and exercise. It's the combination that keeps Brent Sessler coming back to rise above fitness week after week. I'm glad I'm part of the family here. I'm glad to be out here and just enjoying myself and just having fun and hearing people smiling, laughing, joking around, all sorts of stuff. Are you guys tired yet or what? Today's class includes a little jumping, kicking, running, a few high fives, and even a little dancing. Here, there's enough variety to keep things interesting. Go, Jordan! All while building character and confidence. We do a lot of exercises. We do like push-ups and sit-ups, and uh, we uh, we like to be funny and actually sometimes, and um, we like to do some dancing, a little bit of dancing, a little bit of exercises and yoga. But unlike other fitness programs, everyone here has special needs, including 39-year-old Brent, who was born with a condition known as Williams syndrome. It's a genetic disorder that makes you happy, it makes you friendly. Um, there are some challenges that I face, but other than that, it's a really cool. He's been just a joy to be with. He lives independently, has a full-time job at the hospital, working 40 hours a week. He walks to work. For Brent's dad, today's movement is a welcome sight. Prior to Rise Above Fitness, Brent was relatively uh, sedentary. Uh, didn't have an opportunity to get out and uh, socialize with friends, to be able to exercise on a, on a consistent basis. So now we can count on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for this wonderful opportunity to be with friends and uh, get some, uh, some healthy exercise. And this one is called Karate Kid. The fitness classes are part of the nonprofit organization Rise Above. We have three key components of exercise, socialization, and empowerment uh, for individuals with intellectual and uh, developmental disabilities. So think autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, um, even into the TBI, so the, the brain injuries. Ryan Boss, a fitness instructor, says the idea for the program came to him after volunteering with special needs adults. You know, after that first class, I felt phenomenal. I couldn't sleep. My mind was churning. Uh, right after that, two weeks after that, volunteered at a camp, and that just solidified it. This, this population has taught me more than anything is to be present and to live with intention. The Rise Above group meets three times a week, twice here at Freedom Park and once on Saturdays at Park Road Park. They also meet virtually and the average cost per class is about $15. We're gonna do some warriors. So we're gonna come with our feet together. For Jordan Todd, the program has paid off in big ways. My favorite part is push-ups. I feel good. Since joining a year ago, the 24-year-old has already lost about 30 pounds. It is phenomenal, to be honest with you. She's just really come out, and for me, that is like the best feeling in the world. Just for her to communicate and just be with other people and be with friends. Rise Above Fitness, you know, kind of typifies this whole pandemic experience, which is to not let it get you down, to always stay positive, and lift yourself up above whatever obstacles that you have. And so it's a pretty special name, really matters because that's what we're trying to teach this population is to try to not let obstacles be in your way. Okay, hands up. For Brandon Burroughs, coming to the program has not only reaped physical benefits, he's also seen positive changes in his mental health. Where I had a, a very serious health breakdown, I had depression, I had anxiety, but ever since I came to this class, it has died down quite a bit. I'm a lot better than I was before. Sarah Allen is the mother of two special needs children, including her son, Matthew. Matthew was born with um, what's called toxoplasmosis, which is a parasitic infection, did damage to his eyes and to his brain stem, so he's legally blind. Um, he does have some mental retardation, but he also is on the autism spectrum. She says the program addresses the need for community after high school. Once they graduate high school, they just fall through the cracks. And so to find something like this, where they can get outside and be around other people and get moving, because the majority of them will just sit in the house and look at video games. This has been um, just amazing. 
he loves coming. He loves to be outside and be with other people. For Ryan, the executive director, bringing the group together has also transformed his own life. We provide fitness classes. They give back to me tenfold, right? So um, I live more with intention than I ever have in my life. Being present in a space where everyone is free to be themselves. For Carolina Impact, I'm Sarah Colon Harris. We hope you enjoyed the story. If you don't want to miss any more great stories about the Charlotte region, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.